Donald Trump Jr.'s critique of the media hinges on his firm belief that mainstream outlets like CNN are skewed against conservative figures, particularly his father, Donald Trump. He argues that these media organizations foster a toxic political climate by pushing narratives that distort the values and leadership of conservatives. In emphasizing the media's role in fueling hostility, Trump Jr. frames the broader conservative narrative. That media bias not only undermines political movements, but also puts individual safety at risk. But, but on the debate itself, it was very civil. I mean, they acknowledged yep, when, they, when they agreed, they gave each other the benefit of the, doubt, of the doubt. Should we see more of that on the debate stage when your dad's up there? You know what? I'd love to see that across the board. Sometimes the political climate isn't that much. We've all heard about Trump derangement syndrome. We've seen what they've lied about to my family. For, you know, I was an agent of Russia, but Hunter Biden's laptop was totally Russian disinformation. Turns out the opposite was true. You know, the media did that. They created so much of that environment. The media has radicalized the people that are trying to kill my father. I've had to deal with that twice now in the last two months. I've had to have that conversation with my five young children twice in the last two months about someone trying to shoot their grandfather. You know, that didn't just magically happen. That's not him. That's a media created fake Russia scenario. They ran with it for years. Even when it was disproven, they still ran with it. You know, that environment wasn't just created by Donald okay, Trump. Okay, but, but can I say, you can't blame, and no one wants, everyone wants your dad to be safe. No one wants the threats against his life to happen, but you can't blame the media for, for those threats. There's been no evidence that's calls what drove those. And, and allows people to have a platform to call someone literally Hitler every day for nine years, it creates it. Okay. Whether you want to believe it or not, that, that's a fact. But as you know, J.J. So, Vance once likened your dad to Hitler as well. He questioned if he was America's Hitler. His references to the Russia investigation and Hunter Biden's infamous laptop tap into public frustration with what he views as media manipulation. To many, the handling of these controversies reflects a double standard that shields progressive figures while maligning others. Trump Jr.'s characterization of those who tried to assassinate his father as products of media, radicalization, underscores a key conservative belief that extreme rhetoric, like frequent comparisons of Trump to Adolf Hitler, can incite violence against political opponents. Among the public, especially conservatives, there is a strong interest in defending free speech and ensuring political fairness. Trump Jr.'s comments align with growing calls for a more balanced and accountable media, one that refrains from sensationalizing or demonizing opposing figures. His assertion that media shapes public perception and stirs emotion strikes a chord with many who feel biased reporting contributes to division, fear, and hostility within the country. The psychological undercurrent of his remarks revolves around fear, blame, and the instinct for protection. His story about an assassination attempt and subsequent conversations with his children evokes a deep sense of vulnerability, not only for himself and his family, but for the broader political landscape. This vulnerability feeds his critique of the media, accusing it of fostering an environment that has led to such threats.